Welcome back. A dark past in the lives of Native Americans in North America has recently been uncovered, and it's drawing renewed focus on the horrific history of Native American boarding schools here in the U.S. It's a painful part of American history that often goes untold. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the U.S. established federally funded boarding schools aimed at assimilating hundreds of thousands of Native American children, forcibly taking them from their families and stripping them of their culture. There was a lot of horrific things that happened to myself and I know a lot of other individuals that were in that school system. The horrors laid bare with the discovery last June of 215 unmarked graves outside of an indigenous children's school in Canada, which had adopted similar policies as the U.S. We talked when we were in school um, about um, some people that went missing, and it was assumed that uh, they ran away and um, we're never going to come back. My mother is a um, boarding school survivor. Kent State adjunct professor Kimberly Medicine Horn Jackson is now part of a research team tasked with uncovering the horrific histories at these schools in the U.S. And we're running against time. Our elders who went to the boarding schools, they're, they're crossing over daily. And we're losing the truth of what happened there were 357 known boarding schools, many operated by Catholic and Protestant churches. Here, Native children were forced to abandon their language, their traditions, and culture. In this 1929 film, Native American children at a school in Arizona sing a nursery song originally written about counting dead Indians. The student's long hair, culturally a point of pride, was cut into short, uniform bowl haircuts. Was this ethnic cleansing? According to the Geneva Convention on Genocide, the Native American boarding schools fall into all 10 categories of genocide. But now, leading the way in the top levels of government. Now for the first time, this country has a cabinet secretary who is indigenous. I come from ancestors who endured the horrors of Indian boarding school assimilation policies carried out by the same department that I now lead. Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland launched the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative to investigate the full scope of U.S. policies and their effects. The removal of history in our books, that's a method of Indian removal. Speaking the untold truth, only until then can healing begin. How can we ever heal? How can we ever do things differently? if we don't take the time to listen to what happened.